welcome to the e-learning session where we are going to be discussing listening on the job in today's session you will be getting to know that how is listening effective listening important for us while we are at our workplace in the last session we had discussed about listening skills and in that session i had emphasized on one becoming an active listener so in today's session let's just look at this that how there are different types of listening first is informational listening wherein you perceive an information and you do not pass on any judgment or criticism you also focus on key points the other is appreciative listening where you listen for entertainment you do not involve analyzing in that process of listening the third one is critical listening which requires understanding you look for evidence of whatever you have heard and you check for logical reasoning so that is critical uh, listening and then the fourth kind is empathetic listening where the focus is on the speaker's emotion where you allow the listener to see another person's perspective another person's point of view these are in brief five types of listening that are relevant to us now when we talk about types of listeners there are four types of listeners who are present you might in the process while you are listening to the lecture you can also think about which category do you fall in and which one would you like to shift to so the first type of listener is detached listener who avoids making eye contact you know you you can consider that listener who is actually showing you not so effective non verbal cues who who supposedly really is an introvert who probably withdraws himself who lacks enthusiasm seems inattentive disinterested and bored the next one is an an a speaker a listener who is actually somebody who is involved with the speaker okay he provides direct eye contact to the speaker has an alert posture gives the speaker some attention and reflects on the message to a degree by either giving non verbal cues or questions or paraphrasing so uh, then there is third kind of listener who is a passive listener he may or may not make an eye contact but tries to fake that uh, you know that he is paying attention so many a times in the lecture room when you are there listening to the teacher you might not be paying attention but you try and fake it okay you use little energy or effort then appear calm and laid back so this kind of a listener is one of those passive listeners where who are the back benchers then you have the last kind which is active listeners and the most effective kind of listeners so you have an alert position there you use direct eye contact as an active listener you give full attention to the speaker and you focus on what has been said by the speaker this kind of a listener activates fully in a talk moving on let's just understand what is active listening because if we want to be the best in terms of listening at our workplace we must become an active listener and understand what is the act of active listening the first thing is that the active listening involves the ability of paraphrasing the information many a times you have meetings that have been taken by the higher officials and in that case if you are able to rephrase the information that has been given to you if you are able to put it in your own words maybe not necessarily repeat the whole word that is where you are going to be showcasing that you were an active listener you do not need to interpret the speaker okay not do not interrupt the speaker so may, may many times you you are sitting in a meeting in a larger hall and you go and interrupt you say my point is more important than your point so make sure you are not interrupting the speaker you are not formulating a stance until speaker has finished speaking half said things and half understood things make sure that your work will never be fully finished that is where you must make sure that let the other person complete the sentence let him show you the best of the mindset maybe there are sentences where you have but or if 
or those conditions that are there for you right so make sure you are emphasizing on these and letting the other person finish the sentences that will be, make you an active listener active listeners will always increase the productivity at a workplace they will improve the work relationship status they will also improve persuasive negotiation skills for example when you are there cracking a deal it is best to have a uh, an active listener along with you because the positive gestures that an active listener showcases helps you persuade the client persuade your audience then that kind of a listener also reduces conflict and misunderstandings here are certain things that you can see that active listening skills also help you build trust and establish rapport it also demonstrates concern that you have for the other person you could be very briefly asking specific questions that are there or use very very brief verbal affirmations like i see i understand okay right these are the brief affirmations that as a listener you could provide to the speaker now how to become an active listener there are four simple steps which will be discussed by me in this presentation first one is pay attention second show you are listening third provide positive reinforcement fourth provide effective feedback let's look at these in detail so to pay attention what are the ways in which you could show that you are paying attention you should directly look at the speaker as you can see in the image the girl is directly having an eye contact with the speaker you have to be open minded so how do you get to see that this girl is open minded observe her hand gestures and the smile the expression on her face avoid being distracted so you can see that she cannot be distracted she is not looking anywhere else she is constantly looking at the speaker listen to speaker's body language as well so this person's hand gestures are moving the person who is speaking make sure you are also observing those now the focus should be on what the speaker is saying not on any other noise or sound that is there around you or any other speaker who is there whose whose voice might not be as loud or something in the background that you have in your mind so when when in rome behave like a roman here i would say when you are sitting in an attentive position you have a speaker the best thing that you can give the speaker is your time and your attention so make sure you give that then show that you are listening the second step here you can directly look at the speaker you have to be open minded you have to avoid all the distractions possible you can see that this lady in the uh, photograph here has her fingers towards the pointed towards the chin which is a very positive gesture to speak about an active listener the list you have to listen to speaker's body language and focus on what the speaker is saying just like the previous step now why you have to provide positive reinforcement how do you do that that's the third step so you could actually use verbal and non verbal acknowledgments it also includes smile and the other facial expression so in the image you can see that the woman is smiling and her eyes show the spark that she's happy probably a good news that has been shared have an open and inviting posture you know many a times you have certain postures wherein you are closing your body if in case you lose out on your hands you open your arms and open your hands use those positive gestures so that you feel the other person feels instead of feeling intimidated by you the other person feels that you are very much open to her, his or her ideas and the facial expression should be very soft they should not be tense your eyebrows should not be frowning you should there should be no frown on your face and eyebrow should not be um, showcasing stress that you know you're not liking this kind of a speech that the person is giving you or whatever talk he is giving you so uh, at a workplace these are very essential next you have to provide feedback very very important step you have to be honest and uh, open in your response that you have to give assert your opinion very respectfully there is a sort of speaking skill that you can develop wherein you can politely put forth your point even if in case you do not agree with your superior treat the other person like you would want to be treated so if you do not want other people to be disrespectful please make sure you are always politely telling them what is it that you like about them what is it that you do not like as a feedback okay uh, you you can also provide feedback in terms of 
non verbal gestures you could smile you could clap if in case somebody has made an amazing presentation you could compliment by uh, by sending a message non verbal message or a verbal message to the individual respond appropriately be assertive but not aggressive if in case you find that somebody is not agreeing with your point i'm sure you would want to say it politely instead of showing your anger against that individual specifically at the workplace now there are certain barriers to listening what could that be now you know about it that barriers will make sure that the message speaker's message is not able to reach the listener there is some kind of an interference that is created so you have two kinds of distractions that are there internal uh, distractions and external distractions the external distractions include they are outside of yourself for example there could be a siren there could be a spider on the wall there could be a loud truck noise that you could truck horn that you could uh, listen to or construction work that goes on in your house those are external distractions that might affect you there are certain internal distractions that are more to do with psychological state of your mind for example i might uh, have somebody sick at home and i might be thinking about that individual while i'm listening to an uh, an interesting talk i might not be completely devoting myself as an active listener okay or maybe i might be planning what should i do next weekend right or daydreaming these are the internal distractions that are there the other point that i would want you to uh, take a note of is that sometimes we are too full of our own ideas and thoughts and of about the what we want to speak in that case we will never be able to be an attentive listener so like uh, they say that you have to prepare yourself to be a good listener make sure that speaker within you tries to put the uh, you know the thoughts and ideas in place but wait for his turn until the speaker has finished you do not take up the role of a speaker if you are a, in the position of being a listener then you have certain personal biases as well so when i say personal biases uh, for example there are certain uh, you know people you who are very great orators and you want to speak to them you want to listen to them as well for example uh, when i talk of barack obama when i talk of our own prime minister pm modi you want to listen to them right you look forward to their speeches uh, and then there are certain people whom you do not want to uh, listen to at all you have your own personal preferences for them you have a stereotype in your mind not always will the speaker speak like before every speech is a perform is an act of performance so make sure you are not having a prior opinion on the basis of your thinking or on what your friends have told you that this lecture is going to be boring or this is going to be interesting don't uh, keep all those biases aside uh, don't follow those uh, if you want to be an active speaker and specifically at workplace you must be open to all the kind of experiences that you can gain and that experience can be gained mostly if in case you can be a very good listener now there is something uh, called conflicting demands sometimes you are doing too many things at a time say for example you have an assignment to uh, to give to the students you are taking attendance uh, or maybe in a, if you are working in a hotel you have to attend to a call you have to be uh, you know listening to clients uh, and customers who are staying in your hotel their problems so in that case you are doing so many things you are multitasking but whenever you are multitasking you will not be able to focus on any one of those activities and you will not be able to pay attention so make sure you try and focus if you have to deal with the problems that the client is facing be an active listener listen to him devote your time and i'm sure your services will be applauded by your boss now on this note i have certain pictures for you wherein you can observe the body language of listener and the speaker both and on that note i leave you to become a successful active listener at your workplace thank you